What the hell am I wearing? And where'd Susie go? At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Save. Responding to my presence. It's too dark to see anything. seeing something at the edge of the screen disappear. It did back there on the last screen, then it just happened here, on the top right. Is it sleeping? Why is that one red? Oh. Huh. So you can take damage without being in a battle screen. That's different. At least I assume that's what is happening. I don't really want to test it. You bathed your body in the light. A power shines within you. Breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. HP fully restored. Oh, nice. Eye puzzle. There was another way back there that went down. I'm really curious what's there. Ooh, there's something in there. Something glowing inside. Take it? Yes. You got the glow shard. What's a glow shard for? Also, do... Oh no. If I hold down escape, it quits. I don't actually remember how to access my inventory. How do you do that? Whoa. I think I found it. Okay, what do we got here? Chris, 90 out of 90 HP. Items, equipment, power, config. I, s I don't remember this is the same as it was in Undertale. This is similar. Toss stuff. Can be used to make calls. Can I use it right now? Ugh. Doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Level 1 human. Body contains a human soul. Good. I feel like I wouldn't really be a human without a human soul. 10 attack, 2 defense, 0 magic, no guts? Got a wood blade. Wooden practice blade with a carbon reinforced core. And the glow shard. Its use is unknown. Well, I don't want to use it, so. What's in config? Full screen, auto run. Yes? Is there any reason not to run? I don't even know how to run. Oh. I guess I'm running. Uh, looks like you do it with shift. That wasn't a thing in Undertale, was it? Running? 
so fast. Oh my god, that is really fast. Yeah, it kind of feels not so good for the atmosphere to go that fast. I'm going to turn that off, actually. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Only eyes blinded by darkness, so I need all of them... Uh, yeah, I see. Okay, okay, this is a pretty simple puzzle. I just need all of them to be black, and the indicators directly above Chris's head indicates which one's going to change when you do this. Like, the left and right ones are made black, so that means it's going to change the left and right ones. Going to toggle them. So... Not actually sure... Oh, that'll do it. Yeah. when I used it. I feel like I'm destroying them. What am I doing to them? I can't examine them or anything. I, I guess I just won't do that. What is that thing I keep seeing at the side of the screen? It is definitely there. Something watching me. Something quickly disappearing. I think I gotta destroy this one. Oh. Hey, hey, back off. Come any closer and I'll... Susie? C Chris. Ah, oh. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Uh, where is here, anyway? It, it doesn't matter. You got us into this mess, you get us out. Wait, what do you mean, I got us into this mess? What are you talking about? I'm not the one who ate the chalk. I'm not the one who sent us to get chalk. Lead the way, Chris. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. <laughs> okay. Look at that background. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? That's the thing I've seen on the side of the screen. It's black. R run, Chris! Chris, down here! Oh. Yeah. Visually, this is very confusing for me. Okay. How did I not take any damage? Susie? You're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. I wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Oh, you're blocking the way, aren't you? Yeah, I can't go to the right. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. They seem to say or show what they are with that, like, sign, I guess, above the doors. In or swords or whatever this is, and then question mark. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. 
a black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Castle Town. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I'm not your enemy. Please, come forward, both of you. Welcome. I'm the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Okay, so we're in hell. Got it. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Okay. Very well, then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope, a legend of dreams, it was a legend of light, a legend of dark. This is a legend of Delta Rune. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. Then her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. Today the Fountain of Darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon, and with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you too have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, Please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh... Nah... What? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, Susie, without you, the, the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris. If you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. S Susie, wait. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hi, Sword of Sons? Sans? Comic Sans? Ho ho ho! The heroes are already running away. And they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. 
Son of a month? Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. You clowns want to seal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns, save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I trash you. Step two, you lose. Huh. Nice plan, kid. R really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? <laughs> Lancer busts in. Okay, what? So... What is this? So instead of, like, the, uh... Well, whatever the hell the combat was before, I don't know what you'd call it in Undertale, but this is, like, turn-based JRPG? I mean, I guess it... I'm, t I'm thinking back to how the combat was in Undertale. There were multiple kinds of combat, right? There's those sort of bullet hell-ish sections, which we just had one trying to escape from that darkness thing. And around the bullet hell type stuff, there's a sort of framework of turn-based combat, but this is very different from how it was there. Check, compliment, or warning. <laughs> okay, let's check Lancer at 7 of... At 7... Oh, AT, not at. AT, attack. Attack 7, defense 1. Gotcha. Not to call a spade a spade, but he's a spade. Not old enough to ride a motorcycle, so he set his bike on fire. <laughs> Halt, clowns! This bike is fueled by victory! Don't know how I got an axe, but, like, that's cool. That is pretty cool. TP 6%. I don't know what TP stands for. Total... Ponies? 6% ponies? So I could use a glow shard, but I don't actually know what that actually does. Maybe heals me? That'd be my guess. I don't know how to go back. There we go. Compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Oh, you make my- oh, I don't know what that said. I think it just took some damage. Did I? My HP is 90 out of 90. Huh. Lancer's motorcycle is actually just a bike that's on fire. So the thing is, even if I don't actually fight, or uh, like, attack directly, Susie is attacking. Warning. He told Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. <laughs> so what are you guys doing after this? Oh, did Susie take damage from that? Huh. So I guess if I just keep warning them, then they won't be hit by Susie? Lancer laughs at the idea he would need your help. Ho ho ho! I'm the bad guy! Oh, I took some damage that time. Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. You have the luck of the draw this time, but next time the losers will be you. <laughs> Bye, losers. I gotta get home before dinner. You won. Zero XP and 37... D? Dollars? Are you two okay? Uh... Allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. 
Uh, um, all right. Hello, everyone. I'm Ralsei. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends, and... That's the way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Chris, I'm a prince, but... I, uh, currently don't have any subjects. Aww, they're so cute. I've been waiting alone here. Uh, my whole life for you two to arrive. So, I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Hey, Chris. I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure's over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake. That sounds fantastic. Rolsey, the lonely prince is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. <laughs> Uh, Chris, you know you can hold X to run. Wait, really? I've been holding shift. Really? Right. You'll move faster by holding X. And I'll be right behind you, so don't worry. Unless you want to get away, in which case, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I don't have to press shift. I can just press X. Okay. Oh, Chris, it's the training dummy I made. Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Yeah, actually. Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart? That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Okay, so some of this I probably already get, but I just want to make sure I don't miss anything big. Holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So please, take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world. There's no harm in a thorough lesson. Oh, sorry Chris, I forgot to mention. When you're attacking, press Z again when the cursor goes in the box. Okay, a little bit too soon, but not bad. And by the way, you'll do more damage pressing Z when the cursor enters the box on the left. Let's try defending. Defending the enemy's attacks will hurt you less. You'll also gather TP. What is TP? Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP, how about spinning that TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now, if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep, and we'll win peacefully. Let's try spells. Ah. can <laughs> make your opponent fall asleep. That's wonderful. Kill an ally, 32. TP, I still don't know what TP stands for. Well, see, cast pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. 
Now, just a little more to teach you. Acting. Through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Give it a hug. I can hug Ralsei. You hug Ralsei. <laughs> Chris, um, I don't think uh, this is what you're supposed to be doing. But <laughs> that's adorable. Oh, not defend. You hug the dummy. Aw, oh, that's great, Chris. Each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If we spare all the enemies me we meet, we'll never have to fight. Great job, Chris. That'd be the end in a real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. <laughs> that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And, uh, in case you ever need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu and use it in your items. Equipment items. You tried to read the manual, but it was so dense it made your head spin. <laughs> okay. It's just a dummy. Oh my! The great door is opened! The Wonder Lancer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey, a journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry, is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? Yeah, so... We're also saying that our choices make all the difference, but then... What we've heard previously and what we've seen is that our choices don't matter. Right? Like, the game's telling us your choices don't matter. We're also saying your choices do matter. So, I wonder... What are these trees? What are those noises? Nature sounds. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. Okay, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. I have absolutely no idea how long this game is. Is this just like a sort of demo? It, I mean, it's called Deltarune Chapter 1 on the website, so I'm assuming it's not super long. Perhaps like a prequel or a demo type thing for a full game? I mean, I'm assuming that this isn't like a 10 or 20 hour game. I don't think Toby Fox would release something like that for free, although who knows? After all, I'm sure they're very, very rich from Undertale, so they could probably do whatever the heck they want. But yeah, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if, the, if this is a couple hours long, if this is 10 hours long, or what. But uh, I'm liking it so far, and I'm intrigued. 
So I hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.